talk us through your average working day, uh, obviously how that works with Mailer, with Rolly. Uh, what 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 is the day look like? How does it start? Talk us right through your day. So it starts about half seven for me. I get up and get myself dressed, prepared and everything. Um, and I leave at, at the last possible minute, about eight o'clock for, for the baby, because uh, she ha absolutely hates the morning. She's not a morning person, neither am I. So she does take after me. Um, obviously get her washed, dressed, fed, and I take her to school for nine. Um, at the same time, I walk the dog to the school and I walk the dog around the park. And then when I get back home, I go straight to, to Joe's. Um, do two sh two sessions up there. Sometimes um, she'll come with me to the second session, and yeah, just yeah, just come back, pick her up from school if she's there, and yeah, just get on get on with the day. So the first session would be say on average say half ten, half twelve. Then there'd be a gap in the day, and then you do maybe a track session. Is that is that pretty much what what you're talking about? So there'd be the boxing session and some. Some extra fitness work, cardio work, whatever in the evening. Yeah, it used to be uh, alternate, 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 alternate. That's it. It used to be alternate running and swimming, but obviously all the pools are shut, so um, it's now bike sessions, it's versa climb sessions, it's 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 a boxing session with a run on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's a um, a strength session with like either a versa or a bike or something in, in later on. Spotted that. So in terms of the strength and conditioning work with Johnny Velocity that, he, that you were doing today, there's some it's a pretty tough looking bike bike work going on. I mean, what, what with that session, what were you doing today, basically, with those different individual exercises? So it's, it's just a, a, a maximum effort kind of thing for a sustained period of time. And that's just basically a finisher for the session. We'd already done our strength work um, and the, the, you just always will finish it with something. But that's not our bike session. We, our bike session will be something totally different. And Johnny sends us programs of, you know, we have like green, red, and red zones of which, which ones to do. So there's the, the, lift, the, the weight lifting was going on there. I mean, it's all very controlled, isn't it? It's pretty heavy weights. And, and then there, what's the climbing thing? What's that all the about? Versa yeah. uh, the Versa climber. Yeah. The Versa climber is just another um, piece of equipment that Joe's loves to use and torture us with. Um, but it, it is very good, obviously, it's working your arms and your legs the same as the assault bike, um, same as the rower. Um, so yeah, it's just anything that, that's boxing like, related that you know, you've got to work your legs and your arms that, that we do. It's interesting about the swimming because that's, uh, that's very much a part of the, the regime, isn't it, for many boxers now. And I know it, that Joe's always been really into that side of it. So have you managed to completely replicate what that does for you in other ways, if that makes sense? Yeah, we've had to. We've got no no other choice. I mean, we went through the whole um, Harper camp without swimming at all, and 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 the same probably for this camp. Um, so yeah, we've had to just, as I say, get new equip bits of equipment in. Um, Johnny's come up with uh, new different techniques and 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 has put it like put it in our strength and conditioning sessions so that we we we, do, we are still getting the benefits of swimming without actually being in the water. And Mela joins in as well, as we were seeing today. She's getting quite <laughs> enthusiastic at parts of that, that, the, the work today. Yeah, she does. She, 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 ha she has a go and she loves to see what I'm doing and then find a, a, another little way that she can do it. Or yeah, but she, 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 she likes it and she likes being in the gym environment. She loves being around Joe. And um, yeah, she thinks she's the number two sometimes. That's the side of Joe that I suppose many don't see. Uh, you hear, you know, there's Joe when he's in fight week, if you like, when he's fighting for his fighters, which he's very good at. And he likes to, you know, play his own mind games. He'll do anything he can for his fighter. I think that's fair to say. But he's an old softy, really, isn't he? You could see what, he, what he's like with Mela. Yeah, yeah. And she, like, she'll say to him, come on, Joe, we'll go in the shop. And he'll be like, OK, and just take her to the shop. And she, she like, says, oh, you say, you can, get, you can get one thing. She's like, no, Joe, I'm getting two. And then, like, oh, yeah, but that's the side no one sees the job. But he's, you know, he obviously understands that I'm there to work and he, any any stresses that I've got, he tries to take them away and help me out. So he knows that sometimes the baby's calling me, which can be a bit distracting and stuff. And um, he, he, he'll take her off and or give her a job to do um, so I can just get on with my session. You call her a baby. She's like a proper grown up, if you ask me. She's bossing everyone around. Oh, uh, yeah, I call everyone a baby. Me and my brother, who's 24, he's still the baby. <laughs> so. How difficult is it, though, 
in terms of making sure your schedule is kind of bang on, if you like. When, when school is there, and obviously with the pandemic, it's been difficult. You've been homeschooling at times, and then you've got to get your training in. You've got to, you've got to really kind of organise your day, I suppose. And just about the pandemic, how hard has it been, you know, being a mum as well as, as trying to train? It has been tough. I mean, I mean it, it's been tough in one way, but it's been like um, eye-opening in another, and it, it sounds terrible, but I've actually learned loads about my own child and you know when obviously when the schools were closed and she was with me for 24 hours I had to entertain her I wasn't in a bubble with anybody and um, so she was coming to every single session she was and um, then we were coming home and we were spending all this time together and one of the things I struggled with at, at, at first and um, when I got back into the sport was that I didn't feel like I had enough time I wasn't you know you you're running, like I say, to, to get up dress fed to, to get to school and then you go away, do your two sessions and I'm rushing to pick her up at five o'clock or before five o'clock and then you've got like two and a half hours to have fun, feed her, dressed, undressed and, and washed and bed. So I, I was struggling with that at first because I was like, oh, I'm not getting enough time, I'm not getting enough time. But then when I spoke to other worker mums, they, they were having the same they were having the same problems so I knew it just when just because I was a boxer or just because I was an athlete that's the same stress as most most mums have in, and with with the pandemic then you obviously you know you had 24 hours with your child and that was a whole different experience but yeah you, you just you've got to do what you what you do and you know I, I had to still work and she knew that and now she sees she always knew what mum did, but she didn't quite understand it. She didn't get, she thought that mum just went to the gym. Now she knows what happens in the gym. So she, she's experienced a lot, you know, she's seen a lot. And she, you know, there's a um, a medal at the, at the above the fridge that um, when I, as she said to me after the Harper camp, did you, mummy, did you win? And I, I didn't know what to say. And I was like, not, no, babe, but I didn't lose. And then she was like, okay. And she was like, your eye. And she gave me a kiss on my eye because it was obviously, um, cut and then a couple of weeks at, when they went back to school a couple of weeks later she, like, she came back and she was like mummy I got you a medal for the one that you didn't win and I was like oh, she's cute <laughs> she's cute sometimes but she is getting it now then obviously with the gym visits and, and going and going and watching what you do she's probably flicked the switch a bit now you know I think you said to me once before that she was more interested in watching the key to play football than you but do you think she, she's just learned more about what you do in every sense now yeah, I think she gets it now. So she like she knows that mummy boxes and mummy has to go to the gym to or work to to do that. But now she knows what where I go when I'm at work and what I do when I'm there. So she 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 gets the, the whole picture instead of just thinking, oh, mummy's going to the gym and that's that's mummy's work. She she knows what goes on behind the scenes and behind. I've seen her carrying a pair of gloves as well. Has she got the bug? I don't know. She she likes to punch me. I don't know if that's the bug or not, or whether it's just getting her own back. But um, yeah, I think I think when when my, my little niece was with me um, yesterday as well, so they, they they have a little go at each other. She's seven, she's five, so they they just have a little go. But it, it is it's funny to see. Um, maybe maybe. In terms of again, obviously where we are now, we're we're here in your home in Wavertree, not too far from where you grew up in Toxteth. Uh, and then you've got to do this, you've got to go to Bolton. I mean, again, that's more, it's not just down the road, is it? It's a little bit more than that. So it's that journey as well you've got to factor in. And again, when you are in between sessions, you've got to entertain, mainly if she's with you, while you're up in Bolton, which is, you know, it's about 45 minute spin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's there, back, there, back. There's a lot of that that you have to do in your life. Yeah, normally on the on the way there, she's quite excited. Obviously, she just woke up and... and but then sometimes on the way back, she's a little bit tired and, you know, she's had a little run around. She's had a little play. She's done the weight. She's hit the bag and then she, she, she'll be a little bit tired and it's a bit more calm and coming back. But um, they were both at me niece and her were with me yesterday um, for, for both sessions. Uh, so they were there from the and we didn't get home till about five o'clock. So it is a long day. It's a school. It's a school day and more. Um, but as I say, they just they, they just enjoy being a little bit inside, a little bit outside, doing something different. I'm chasing them. Joe will always try and get them involved in in something. So like I was chasing them down the track, and they they, they just have fun doing that. I think you've got preferential status then, haven't you? I mean, is is 
letting children get involved wouldn't be Joe normally, I'm pretty sure. But he, he, as we say, he's a big softy and she's obviously won him over now and, that, and that's that. So she's part of the team, part of Gallagher's gym. Is that the way it is? Yeah, and I think, you know, she's be, like, before anything and everything, I'm a mum first before I'm, you know, Natasha the boxer or whatever. And I think Joe gets that. He's obviously got children of his own, but I'm the primary, you know, parent for me, for me, like a single parent. So she, where if something else can't be arranged, she has to come and that's the be all and end all. So Joe understands that. He also is very protective of all his fighters, but I think, you know, more so with yourself. And when I've spoken to him in the past, then I've got to be careful because you might tell me off again. But, you know, in terms of he wants to make sure that, yeah, you, you have one mum and he's very aware of you fighting and, and, and how it all works out. And uh, Is that hard for you ever to think like that with, with, you know, your little girl? To be honest, I don't think about it like that at all. I don't think... If you ask Lewis Hamilton, if you got to, you know, to, to ever think about crashing, that he'd say yeah. But he obviously knows that uh, that's one of the dangers to to a sport, and that's the same with me. I, I know that's one of the dangers, but it's not something that I go in in there thinking about. But I always know that it's there. Um, but yeah, it's it's you know, with that in mind, that that I do trust Joe. That you know, if there was some ever something that he thought. I could injure myself, or it could be in danger. That 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 he put, that he, you know, say right. That's that's you. That. And am, am I being unfair there, or chauvinistic, or or whatever, in even thinking like that? Because I know you've said before that look, what's the difference between me or any of the other fellas that have got kids? There is no difference. But are we? Are we? Is there still that emotive thing with women boxing sometimes, and particularly mothers that we're, we're thinking? Is it just? Does it not sit that well with with absolutely everybody? Do you feel that sometimes? I did initially. I mean, I remember when I first turned over, there was a big commotion about, oh my God, she's a mum and she's a boxing. I, I was just, you know, I, I'm just like any other working mum. I've gone back to work, but my job's a little bit different. Um, but um, I think socially there is still still there, but it is getting better. And I don't, I don't think I think we've broke down a lot of the barriers and a lot of the um, stereotypes and you know. The, the issues that we see as a, as a collective socially, but we are we are breaking them down slowly. I think that's definitely the case. And the more fights that people see of the quality of the fights, the likes of the Harper fight that you were in, you know, again, there have been some fantastic, Katie herself has been in some great fights. That's kind of smashed down lots of areas anyway, hasn't it? And, and again, there's less women's boxing now. It's a, that was a good boxing bout, you know, rather than always prefacing it with women's. Yeah. Do you, uh, again, it, it's, it's, it's going to be a work in progress, isn't it? But it's definitely, definitely changing, isn't it? Yeah, it's moving positively forward, and that's 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 what we need to do uh, as a sport and and as a generation. Um, but one of the things that you know, kept not I wouldn't say kept me at Joe's, but you know that I really enjoyed about Joe's all through my amateur career when I when I was in the Tunda, I was just a boxer. I wasn't the female boxer, even though I was the only one for a long time. I then you know went to. GB and we trained in our weight divisions. We didn't train as the male and females. We were just we were we were kept as as the fighters and, and the same with Joe's. I am you know, I'm a mum and whatever, but I'm still just the fighter and I get treated exactly the same as everybody else. Yeah, a different dynamic with different people, but I I know it's a good great stable. But today there's Marcus and there's Paul. So you you're all doing S and C together. Again, so many different kind of characters in in that gym. Again, with with I suppose Marcus and Paul, that's a good example. They're quite different, aren't they? Yeah, no, everyone's got everyone brings something to the table, but and you always, you know, everyone gels well. You know, you've got the the jokers like Jose Bert, and who, who will like get you through a session with you know jokes, and then there's someone like Paul who's super fit, and so he'll get you through a session because you've got to match him, you know. And then you know you've got your Callums, your Marcuses, everyone, and it is a it's a Good gym to be involved in, and everyone, like I say, everyone brings something to the table. Now, this fight, you've prepared for the biggest fight of your professional career. You've had the amateur story with Katie that we all know about, and it's finally arrived the one that you know you, you would have always wanted this fight, and you've got this fight. How has preparations then been for this with all the juggling that you do and everything else? Have you managed to stay on the, the track you want to be on for the, for the big fight? Yeah, I don't think there's been any anything different to like to Harper it's actually helped me out a lot more that the schools have gone back the, um, so you know we are back into the normal routine that, that we would normally be in 
Um, but you know, we're getting it to that point where we we're we're a little bit more fighter focused, so it's a bit more te tech technique stuff of what we expect or what we can what we think we we're gonna expect on on the night. Um, but as as far as you know, preparations, I've had longer time than than I did for the half. I, I, we kind of had an inkling a good 10, 12 weeks out. So, you know, we've had longer preparation time. We've we've got the fitness. We've got you know the weight down, and 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 none of that's an issue now. So it's just you know being a bit more specific, like to the to, to Katie. What happens now then, yourself and Katie? It's not going to have the 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 big audience that you deserve the pair of you we know what happened at the excel and breaking all kind of uh, noise barriers for the crowd that night um, or that day again it's a different thing does whose favor does that work in or i mean you've both fought behind closed doors but you know you both felt the crowd as well does it favor either of you i think I, you know the background that we come from we've boxed in the olympics we've boxed you know in world championships we've boxed but then we've also boxed in in little tournaments that have had just the participants there, so it, I don't I don't think it makes a difference to either. Maybe you know she is used to the bigger stages, and you know Ireland are very like um, supportive. I'm not saying that Scousers aren't, but you know that she has the whole country behind her when she boxes, and she's very popular being sports personality. Lord knows how many times. So she is a very popular person, and, and maybe that cheers her on. So. Maybe a slight advantage for myself, who, who it, it doesn't really bother me either. Either way, it is true. She's a complete superstar in her home country. I mean, again, she topped the list of, of sports people. I'm talking even with Conor McGregor in there as well. She's probably going to be number one every single time. So you're dealing with somebody that is you know, second to the Pope in many people's eyes. Over, you know what I mean? Uh, does that affect you in any way? Or do you just think, oh, bring that on? That's uh, that's for her to deal with. Nothing to do with me. Yeah, I mean. It's just doesn't affect me in any way. It's like I, I know the you know the aura that she's got and the presence that she's got and, and but I'm not fighting all that. I'm just fighting the human in front of me. So when when fighting night comes, it doesn't matter who she is, what she's done and where she's been. It's all about the person that she presents on that fight night. So Delphine Pursoon has shown how to really rattle her and, and you know, arguably won the first fight. Certainly many, many would say. But that's not really your style, is it? You you're a boxer. Um, so how then do you, you've seen what works, if you like, but it's not you. So what comes into your plan? I don't want to give it away. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot, there was a lot of things in, in the first, second, whatever. And it's not just the pursuing fights, it's all the fights as well. That, you know, it makes you, you know, she is only human. She, she does make mistakes and there is, she has got fault like everybody else. But, you know. There's there are things we, we would look to capitalise on, and, and, and yeah. Be interesting as well, because, uh, again, fight week and everything else, and, and Joe, who, again, will be very clear in his backing of you, let's let's put it that way. And, again, you know, he's a man who's very proud of his Irish background. Mm -hmm. he's, he won't be able to go back to Sligo probably after this fight <laughs> if it works out the way he says it's going to work yeah, out. Yeah. But it is that kind of fight, isn't it? Two very popular characters is one of the, the kind of roundabout ways I'm getting to here. Yeah. Yourself, obviously, with your GB background and you've got great support. She's got great support. It's one of those that it's like, well, there's two, two great women here. Yeah. It's almost a shame. Do you get that? Yeah, no, it, 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 like, it does divide. Um, it divides um, opinion. And, and a lot of the, the comments are on social media that have been like, oh, I, I love the both years and... I don't know who to pick on. I love the both of you, but I'm going to go with this one. I love you, you know. So, I mean, for me personally, I don't, I don't, I don't mind that that people say, oh yeah, you know, or more favourable to Katie because you know the, the the main point is that they're invested. You know, they they will be watching. They will, they do want to tune in. They're invested in women's boxing, and they they know it'll be a great fight. So that for me is enough, regardless of who they think is going to be the winner. The fact that they actually want to see this event happen is is massive and it shows how much and the fact that pe the first thing people said is why isn't it top of the bill just goes to show how far forward and 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 you know moving forward boxing and and specifically women's boxing's come why isn't it top of the bill tasha <laughs> lord only knows i tried to think what joe would answer to that question but um yeah i don't know i don't know but uh, should it be probably like does it does it matter if we're not to to me and Katie? 
probably not. As long as everyone's watching, I suppose, yeah, if, it's, if it doesn't matter to you. Uh, and I suppose without the crowd, or the crowd that you should have, whatever's going to happen with that, but you're not going to have the, a packed arena, that really then would have been more of an argument, I suppose, because it really it might matter who has that final bout, because traditionally people might leave or this, yeah. but anyway, it's, not, it's not, not relevant, is it, for this one? So it's just about eyeballs on it, and, and, and that, that's, that's it. This goes the way that you are planning. What will that do? Not for yourself, for your family. What, what what will it mean to you on every level? So, it's the glory. Obviously, it's proud. You, your whole family. You know, you've got a big family. Yeah. They'll be very, very proud. But again, you know, is it a life changer? It, it yeah, of course it is. And and I think for me, more than anything, more than everything, the you know financially, you know, whatever, whatever. It's the the peace for me. You know, there's there was always something bringing me back to boxing because as good as me amateur career was, I felt like there was something I hadn't done and that I needed to do. And I think this just draws a line in the sand to that. So for me, it's more about that. And then, then you know, then I will see about what happens next because I, I will just have peace <laughs> and I'll have revenge and all that, yeah, all that stuff. But for me, it's that intrinsic thing that no one else can see or touch. It will just be me. That, that feels that way. And we have just seen an Irish legend in Carl Frampton beaten by a Southpaw. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. These, 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 do you tap into anything like that? Do you ever think things like that? Or you... No, not really. It's like, you know, you can go all day with superstitions and, you know, theories and facts, and, but you can also manipulate them to suit you and not suit you. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me, but, you know, I'm going to present the best version of me. I would expect that she will do the same and then that, that makes for a good fight and, and made the best woman win.